In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali and now we are to talk about charity. In Islam, every Muslim is obliged to give to charity in whatever from to boost his piety and spread wealth and goodwill among the whole community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Noble Quran, by no means shall you attain to righteousness until you spend out of what you love and whatever thing you spend, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, was asked, O Messenger of Allah, from where would we get something to give in charity so often? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, replied, Indeed, the gates to goodness are many, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praising him, magnifying him, saying there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, enjoining the good and forbidding the evil, removing any source of harm from the road, listening to the aggrieved, guiding the blind, showing the seeker his need, striving as far as your two legs could carry you and with deep concern to give succor to him who asks, carrying with the strength of your arms the burdens of the weak. All these are acts of charity which are an obligation on you. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny added, and your smiling in the face of your brother is charity. Your removing of stones and thorns from people's paths is charity. And your guiding a man gone astray in the world is charity for you. From this saying, one can notice that charity doesn't necessarily have to be materialistic or physical. He, peace be upon him and his progeny, views charity in a more spiritual manner. This is through emphasizing that every good is charity and on every person is the obligation of charity. This is a unique concept of charity. The concept of charity in Islam includes all good actions, however small they may be, which in return allows every person, whether rich or poor, to become givers and receivers on equal basis. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, has said, No one of you believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. This is the essence of charity. So begin by meeting your brother and sister with a smile. This would open up locked souls, penetrate to the depths of the heart and exert a magnetic bond on society. The great religion of Islam has only come for the benefit of mankind. And one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy on us is that he subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened for us a great door of opportunity of doing good deeds which remains open even after death. The key to this door is through charity and sacrifice. Regarding this, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq says that three things help a man after his death and these are a charity given by him, a good habit he taught to others and a good offspring he leaves behind him who prays for his forgiveness. Respected viewers, with this we end up our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time, His Majesty, Imam Al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Stay tuned for more morals. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.